I made $180,000 in 48 hours by selling women's cosmetics by employing this one tactic. So several years ago, we were launching a women's cosmetics brand. And if you've ever have advertised on Facebook, for example, or even Google, you realize that to advertise cosmetics pro products is very expensive. There's so many competitors trying to compete for the same audience on Facebook that it drives up the cost. So all competing against each other. You got these really big multi-million billion dollar brands. They're trying to get the attention of that same audience. And there's so many makeup brands and makeup products. How do you compete? So if you launch a new makeup brand, it's very, very expensive and very competitive. A lot of times you end up losing money just trying to acquire the customers on Facebook. So I built a Shopify store and we listed all these products and we started running ads and we were just losing money. It was just not converting. Numbers were not making sense. So what I did was I had this idea of throwing a free makeup event called Makeup Palooza. And what I did was I went to eventbrite.com and I created a, a virtual event called Makeup Palooza. And I booked it at the, with a Chicago Bulls spray in Chicago, the Dalton Stevenson Center, I believe. And I booked it two months in advance. And what I did was I posted it on Facebook and then I ran some ads boosting it. So only women around Chicago can see the ad for this virtual event that was selling very highly discounted makeup, 70, 80% off. So in a matter of about two weeks, I had about 3,000 women opting into this event. I collected their name, their email address, and their phone number for free. I did not charge anything. It was a free event. So I got so much interest just in Chicago. It just gave me a bigger idea. So I hired a virtual assistant from the Philippines, and we looked at every single state in the United States, and we found a convention center in every single state. California, Texas, um, and then also cities, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Houston, Dallas, Puerto Rico, New York. And we found all these convention centers across multiple states. We had over maybe 70, 80 convention centers across the state. And we booked the same event, type of event in every single city across every single convention center across all 50 states. So now we went worldwide. We looked at all the countries and we found convention centers in all the major cities on every country around the world. And we booked a virtual event in all of these cities. We created a virtual event on eventbrite.com across all these cities and all these different countries. And I booked it two months in advance. So now we had almost, oh my God, like 550 to 600 events happening around the world and all happening two months from the date I booked it. So what happened was, we started organically getting email addresses and phone numbers. And they're all like these women's contact information who are interested in makeup. And we had a really cool ad. It was, it was very cheesy, straight up. It was a picture of a bunch of makeup, a little video, and 60, 70, 80% off uh, makeup. So it's a niche that's very evergreen. And women are looking to always try new things. So we ran this ad with so much interest. I had news channels contacted me i had magazines contacting me across the states across the country saying what's this event make a palooza can we cover it can we get you pr can we have a news new channel come out do you need security do you need this it was so huge and it was just myself in my house just architecting all this just so i can build a big audience to use for my makeup brand that i was launching so Every time they would come closer, I would push it another month, push it forward. So I would collect more email addresses and more phone numbers and more you know, names. So we had this massive list. So what we did was finally an event uh, came and we held a virtual event virtually. We did it live and we were selling this makeup that we were promoting. We ended up selling almost about $180,000 worth of makeup within a 48 hour time frame once we launched this live stream after collecting the data and the email addresses and all this stuff from all of these different cities and women who are interested in makeup across all these different countries and cities and states hundred eighty thousand dollars so it goes to show you that there's multiple ways to get in front of your target audience something like this nobody ever think of it's very unorthodox, very interesting, very creative, very outside the box thinking. That's the stuff I try to come up with, right? 
that's why I'm one of the best marketers in the space because I come up with divergent, interesting ways to think, to do things, right? If you look at the tip of the iceberg analogy, 10% of the tip of the iceberg is above the water and the remaining 89% is below the water. Most people have that 10% above the surface type of mentality and they do the basic things to get in front of their custom audience or to sell things or to make money. I do that, but so focus on the 89% below the surface, the depth, the interesting strategy, the creativities that allows you to get in front of your target audience. So that's something you can implement too. If you want to take my idea, you can implement it. But this one strategy made us a lot of money in a very short period of time and allowed us to collect a big database of these women who are interested in something cosmetics. So now I can use that list for other types of products and services in the cosmetics type of niche and I can sell to. So remember, if you're trying to build something, if you're trying to be successful on something, there's always multiple ways to get that. There's multiple doors. There's always back doors that you can use to get to where you want. So try implementing the strategy, think outside the box, and I promise you can also make a lot of money.